In Project Zomboid, one thing I always see new players struggle with is dealing with big groups of hordes and how am I meant to even get through these? How am I meant to fight these zombies? And I'm going to tell you today, you don't have to fight them. I've got a method for you where you can basically get to any building within reason and it be zombie proof and 100% safe for you to then go and loot. So my goal is to clear out this entire gas station and the car park lot. Now I will do this with zero weapons and without killing a single zombie and I'll show you here how I do it and then how you can do it yourself. If you do enjoy this and you learn something new consider subscribing and help me hit 5000 by 2024. Enjoy the video. With this method you'd never actually have to kill a zombie ever again. You can keep on doing this forever and ever and ever. So the first step. So one thing that I like to do is I like just to make lots of noise. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but the point of this is to draw every single zombie to your location. And now you may be wondering, why do I want every zombie to my location? And it's because you want to be able to group up massive amounts of hordes and all of the zombies from the surrounding areas to your position. And that is because you need to control them and move them. And I'll show you how. And when I turn around, you can see how many zombies are already on me. And now don't be alarmed, I know there's quite a lot probably, but just wait and just keep calm. Don't panic, you can always outwalk them. And yes, you do walk faster than the zombies can catch you. And then what we do is we just keep going in circles and a tighter circle round and round and round. And what this does is it groups every single zombie up. And when you group up zombies, it makes them easier to control because they're in a clumped group. You also know where that clumped group is and you can lead that entire group anywhere you want. You could walk these guys to Louisville if you really wanted to. Here they are. So now a bit, bit of a tighter circle, but they're still coming around. So quickly, you can see here that there are a few ones that aren't in the big group. So just kind of go a bit closer to those and grab their attention and they'll follow you and join the horde. So we're going to try to take it a bit tighter this time. So once again, doing another lap around, but this time even tighter and closer as you're trying to bunch them up even tighter. So as you can see here, I'm quite close to the gas pumps and the zombies. And obviously I do get quite close because I know the zombies attacks. You know, I know how, how close you have to be. But even if you're, you know, worried about it, you can always keep a greater distance and do bigger, bigger circles and loops around the zombies. However, you may have to do this more times as they may not be as close. But, you know, after a while of getting close and knowing the zombies kind of attack animations, you'll figure out how to do it. Now, obviously, this does take a while sometimes, but, you know, you're doing it with zero weapons. Right, so as you can see here, I've got quite a big chunk of them. I just want to make sure I get them all. So if you are ever worried that you don't have all of them on you, what you can do is you can quickly dive a bit closer like I've done, wrap back round and just pull them back into the horde. Just from going round and round for quite a while and gathering all of them, look at what we've got. We've got every single zombie in that car park and gas station and they're all just following me. Now what you want to do is you can try to go for an area where there is lots of sightline like things that will break sightline for example a forest now be careful because you take time to get through bushes where zombies kind of just run through them so we're just going to keep on going so just keep pressing q and walk into the forest wait every wait every second there's a clearing wait for them to catch up wait for them to catch up and we're just going to keep on walking. We're just going to keep walking for a bit. So we'll just keep on pressing Q. Bit of a clearing. Let's wait here for a little bit. Keep on shouting. They're going to come. There you go. They're coming from all directions now. Here we go. Turn around and let's just keep on moving. And now what we're going to do is we've gone, we've gone quite far. What we're going to do is we're just gonna run. Don't shout, don't make any noise. Don't, don't shout, just run. And due to the fact that there's all these trees, it will break the zombies kind of sight lines of you, which means that you'll be far, far safer and the zombies will not be able to follow you through the forest. And this is why the forests are your best friend in this game. So we've just looped these zombies round over there. As we come back, 
there should be no or very very little zombies here let's have a little look and that is completely clean look at that absolutely none absolutely none Now obviously be careful because sometimes when zombies are inside they don't always get attracted to you. And there you go. I've killed zero zombies and I've cleaned out this entire, entire area. And not a single zombie kill. All clear. Everything for you to loot now. Perfectly fine. And those zombies will just chill in those forests. Now one thing to keep in mind is... Obviously, don't run back through those forests because it's probably not going to be a good time for you. And I would just let that go for a little bit and just leave it. Okay, so as another example, I've set this up. So I want to be able to get into the police station and I want there to be as little as almost possible. Now, obviously, there may not be zero, but I'd much rather fight five zombies than like 150. So as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm just shouting and circling around and this is what you can kind of do when you really know how to do it you don't have to do it in big circles you can kind of circle them however you can get very close to them like i've just done there but you know as you can see here look at this is what i've kind of got from just this tiny little section oh here we go now yes, be careful, you will be walking into zombies. But the main part is to try and find an area where you think that you can break their sight of you. Now obviously use fences, because they're very overpowered. As you can see here, they all jump over them and fall over, give you a bit of breathing time. Okay, so my thinking is this kind of area here. I'm gonna make a run for it now. So I'll sprint all my way around behind break line of sight just there. Line of sight just there. And as I come back, there's two outside. I go inside. It's all clear. Literally all clear. I hear one, I think. There's the one. Trap him in that room. I see two in here. And then on the way out, there's this one. So that's four instead of like 150 in the area. Thank you for watching this far. If you did enjoy and learned something new and you're going to use this in your own playthroughs, Consider subscribing as it means a lot and we're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before 2024. Thank you.